All right, folks, happy Monday, happy Monday. New opportunities to succeed out there. Hey oh, hey oh. All right, let me just park one second. Film with the GoPro. Whoop. I know the GoPro has a fisheye look. It basically looks like the image is kind of bent around the edges. Can you see that over here and over here? That's called the fisheye. All right, basically, I'm done with work, wrapping up the day and uh, going to the grocery store and going to Ace. Got a little situation popping up in the shed. Uh, it's not good, it's not good. So let's go into Ace, buy what we need to buy, and uh, let's just say PETA is not gonna be happy with me. Didn't want to scare you, but uh, there's been a little signage in the shed as of late that we've got an issue with a little rodent. So time to uh, take things to the next level. That's what this is for. Oh man, Wait, what did I say last week and the week before and the week before? It never stops, it never stops. And the, the sooner you accept that as a homeowner, as a car owner, as a person who owns anything, there's maintenance and that is life and yeah, can it be frustrating and uh, you know, a pinch on your time at times? Yes, yes it will be. And so anyway, the quicker you accept that in your life, I think the more the happier you will be and the more content you will be that, yay, hey, listen, I gotta fix things. This is part of being alive. So, all right, on my way to the grocery store to spend this guy I'm not sure if you're watching, sir, whoever gave me this, but if you are, thank you. Uh, you are supplying a much needed calorie intake and vitamin intake for my long runs because of this card, and I'm grateful, and I'm grateful. Secondly, yes, we have a little mouse or rat problem. I think it's a big mouse. Basically, this is poison. I, I'm sorry, PETA, I'm sorry, but we cannot be having mice uh, rummaging around our shed. In fact, the footage you're watching right now, the culprit is that they are living, the little mouse is living next door to us, and those are the neighbor's dogs on the screen right now, sniffing around because they can smell this mouse in the yard. I know it's coming from there because it's dug a hole under our fence, and I've had it. I've had it. So dogs, get them. And lastly, before we wrap up today, a uh, couple things came in the mail. I know what this is, and I'm going to wait to open these for tomorrow's vlog. But here we go. I can't, I can't wait because I think I can use this for tomorrow's run. I hope. Let's see. What is it? All right. Basically, we live in Colorado. We live at 5,280 feet above sea level. That's exactly one mile above sea level. And a lot of my running takes place at two miles above sea level. In fact, that's where I'm going tomorrow, which means the intensity of the sun on my skin and on my body is intense. And I put a ton of sunscreen on and sometimes I wear a long sleeve shirt, sometimes I don't. It just gets so hot out there, it's hard. So to cover 
Wow, okay. To cover my head as best as possible, I got a new ah, hat from Solomon, and I went with a bright green color, basically so that people can see me in races. They can look, because I have two white hats right now, which is good, but I wanted something brighter, and that's where this guy comes in, so that people, when I'm racing, are like, oh, there's the green hat, that must be Seth. Or, also, from a safety standpoint, if you're up in the mountains and, eh, let's say, you get a little lost or something, it'll be a lot easier to pick somebody out wearing this hat versus a white hat. Makes sense? So, the other thing, the reason I got this hat, ta -da -da -da, it's got a, um, I'll just call it a, a gator on the back. No, what is that called? A visor on the back, basically. Let me show you. <laughs> Boom. So, it'll cover... There we go. Oh, yeah. Yes! It'll cover my ears and my neck. And that is the most important part. It's made by Solomon. I'm kind of becoming a uh, Solomon fanboy a little bit. And that's okay, as long as my head is protected, right? So, that's the vlog today, folks. Um, we love you. We're calling it. And I know that was uh, nice, you know, good old shopping. And, oh, actually, I'm going to set this up. I'll show that to you. Seek beauty. Work hard. Sniff out the rats. <laughs> and love each other. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. See you tomorrow.